What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and tonight we're going to be taking a look at Chestnut with the Mightiest Mark in 7 Star Terror Raid Dens in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event happened yesterday, but so did the Australian release of Tears of the Kingdom, so I was doing that instead. Okay, only because of the overwhelming amount of comments and requests that I had regarding Chestnut, we're making this video here, going over taking down Chestnut. First of all, let's take a look at him. I don't know why this is looking so dark, but it is. But you can read it. Okay, he's Grass and Fighting type. He has Terra type Rock, level 100, Mightiest Mark. Its ability doesn't really matter, it's bulletproof. Its moves are Earthquake, Hammer Arm, Stone Edge, Wood Hammer. Additional moves being Iron Defense, Bulk Up, and Curse. Chestnut is a bulky boy to say the least, but only on the physical side. So because of that, we're gonna need a special attacker. And something unique about this, because it has so many moves that are there to bolster its defense during its shield up and shield down phases. It never actually resets its stats. So for that, we're actually gonna be using a build by a buddy of mine, Hoodlum Callum, shout out to Callum, which is an Appleton build, max special attack, max defense, last four in HP, ability doesn't matter. It's holding a shell bell and its moves are Apple Acid, Giga Drain, Recover, and Iron Defense. And it spawned right next to me. That's convenient. I just came over here to catch this apple in because it turns out that I didn't have one handy. Luckily, I had an extra sweet apple. Wow, look at that grass, look at that texture. Wow, such world building. Guys, Tears of the Kingdom is a phenomenal game. And if you're one of the 2,900 people who unsubscribed to my channel yesterday when I started covering Tears of the Kingdom and didn't make this video, cool, cool, dude. Okay, here we go, here is Chestnut Challenge Alone. There he is. We have some okay allies. Maybe he'll get burned, which is nice. Turn one, he's gonna set up an iron defense and we're gonna do the same thing, iron defense. Starting off with a stone edge, however, we are very bulky. We're gonna live that no problem. Now we have an iron defense, so it's going to do half that amount of damage, which is fantastic. Oh, we did get, someone got the burn off, nice. Now we're gonna do Apple Acid, which is going to lower his special defense. And we're holding a Shell Bell, and this is gonna be, wow, that did nothing. He did what, Stone Edge again? Apple Acid, pretty meh damage, but that special defense is down. So next turn, we're gonna do one and a half the amount of damage, and we recovered a little bit of health but we're gonna recover one and a half as much health next turn. Oh yeah, we're doing some work now. And now from that first turn, we're gonna be doing double damage. We just landed our third hit, that's his third special defense drop. And there's gonna be the shield, which is perfect timing because we have our terrestrialization ready. I don't know if he's gonna be picking a different move. He has Stone Edge, Wood Hammer, Hammer Arm, Earthquake. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be picking a different move. He might switch to a grass move now, but Oh, I forgot to change my Terra type. I'm Terra Dragon. That might be a problem. Apple Acid has a secondary effect of lowering special defense. We're gonna be still lowering his special defense even during the shield. He's now going to nullify stats and abilities on our side, and we're still gonna launch some more Apple Acids. Oh yeah, that hammer arm's a little painful. Here's gonna be our sixth and final Apple Acid. Oh, that was a crit. Not that I could really tell. Yeah, if I actually properly changed my terror type to grass, we'd be doing a lot more, but now we're gonna be doing Giga Drain, which is, I believe, the same amount of power, except now we're gonna be recovering more health on top of the Shell Bell recovery. Wow, yeah, that was a lot of health. And then the Shell Bell. Well, there we go. If you actually remember to change your terror type, unlike me, uh, you're gonna go in a dive ball, because I don't care. Because <laughs> it's just chestnut. You remember to change your terror type to grass instead of having a dragon one, then you're gonna be doing a lot more damage and that's gonna be a lot over a lot faster. Instead for me, I think it was like almost 
18 turns, which is a lot. But anyways, there you go. That's how you're going to be taking down seven star Chestnut with the mightiest mark. He's going to be leaving Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He's going to be returning this following Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern and then leaving that Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. We do not know the Terror Raid battle after that. Well, if you found this information helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you recently left the channel because I'm covering Zelda, considering subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining like I got the charm. Stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm. Felt from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one. And if you need to know how, check out Austin John. Champion flow, flow, yeah. I got that champion flow, flow.